Okay, let's talk, continue talking <clears throat> about the show a little bit. I know that you know we say the kitchen's the heart of the home, and it really brings everyone together. And I assume that's a message that you carry into to the oh, projects yes. that you work on with these families. You know, what does it mean to all of them? So much attention to detail is spent on the kitchen in all of our families' homes. Now, I'm not in charge of interiors on the, on the show. Michael Maloney does great interiors. Uh, Eduardo Zoll does great interiors. It's, it's the hub of any home. You ask anyone, you've got your living room in your, house, in your homes in America, you've got your dining room. I know when my friends and families used to come up over when we were kids, everyone used to meet in the kitchen. You could have the nicest living room, the greatest yes. dining room. People sit around the kitchen table. They converse, they eat, they come together. And we like to keep that as a fact on the show. Very rarely do we put TVs in the kitchen because we don't want people to be sitting there watching TV going, we want them talking. Right. So you see the biggest reaction usually when mum and dad don't want to be sexist, but mums usually have got the greatest reaction when they see their kitchen. It's because usually these families have got absolutely nothing apart from each other. When you've given them a gift like a brand new home, and especially all the bells and whistles that we can throw at a kitchen, with the help of Cola, the help of Craftmade, giving us great product, it's great to see the reaction. Well, they still have each other, but now they have a place to spend that time together. They can be so. together in, 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 in the hub of the home. It is the hub of any home, the kitchen. And is that what it means to you too? How about your own kitchen? What do you particularly like about your own kitchen or some of your favorite products in your kitchen? My kitchen for the last four years has been consisting of a, uh, of a very tiny little space in a town home while my wife and I try and build our home. Um, we've got four kids, we love cooking. I like to think I'm a better cook than I actually am. She's Sicilian, she's a fantastic cook. She happily eats my sauce, even though it doesn't taste the best. But it's, the kitchen we're designing is, I can't wait to get in there and start cooking. I can't wait to have my family over because again, we've made it to be the hub of our home. I know how important it is when I was growing up. Sure. A beautiful, warm, I like modern, I like modern design. I like the crossover between modern and traditional, but my heart is always with traditional. Right. I like comfy, warm sofas. The clinical white sofas that I'm afraid to sit on or my kids sit on and I'm like, get your feet off the couch. Right. <laughs> I just... It needs to be a space to live in. I can't relax in, in white furniture. Right. Does it have a place? Of course it does, but just not in my house with right. my kids. Because it will be black, pink, yellow with crowns marks all <laughs> over it. So, But yeah, I'm more traditional. So the kitchen's very warm, very traditional. The whole home is very traditional. Very livable. I want people to be able to be relaxed when they come over and not feel like, I'm going to sit on this little pillow and not scuff up the carpet right. or this. So yeah, we're traditional. <laughs> we're traditionalists. Before we switch gears to something else, I just wanted to ask you, do you have a favorite episode? Yes. Okay. There's actually two of them. One was a summer camp for disabled kids uh, down in Purdy, Missouri, which was a fabulous place where kids of all, we don't like saying disabilities on the show, we like to say different abilities. Mm -hmm. It was a place where this family from Texas moved to Purdy, Missouri, opened up a camp, one week it would be kids who couldn't see, one week it would be kids who couldn't hear, another week it was kids in wheelchairs, another week kids with burns. The one week we showed up, they got all of the kids together. Every single child, 2,000 kids together. And it was one of the most awe-inspiring weeks of my life because everyone's a bit guilty every now and again of staring a little bit too long at someone that has a disability or is in a chair. And Guys, I'm guilty of it. Sometimes you, you, you stare a bit too long. That show really made me stop staring because I saw these kids and they were just amazing. The other show that really touches my heart was the Native American show we done in uh, uh, Flagstaff. Preston and I were fortunate enough to go to Tuba City and build a veterans, conflict, uh, veterans conference center. It was basically for the guys and girls who had fought in all of past and present conflicts throughout the ages. And it was for the Native Americans who had been given a bum deal, as far as I'm concerned. And they'd been asking for the government to give them a conference center. The other designers took care of the family's house. Preston and I, we took care of this conference center. And I was talking with the code talkers who saved the beach at Iwo Jima by sending code talk that they made the movie about. The two original guys, 90 really? years old. And I was just in awe, absolute in awe and these people have nothing and 
They were giving us necklaces made of turquoise and giving us flatbread sandwiches, which are unbelievably delicious. But it was just amazing. These people opened their homes. It must be a very life-altering experience. It must really kind of impact your, your way of looking at things. It sometimes. is, but there's, it's, got a, it's like a double-edged sword. For all the good we do, there's so much hardship that comes with the show. None of us guys are social workers. And I'm not gonna lie to you, it's very tough to go from one family whose dad has lost the legs in Iraq and he's come back, he's still coming to terms with what he's lost. Then you go to another show where a six-year-old girl is battling cancer. Mm -hmm. Then you go to another show where a mother is battling breast cancer. Sometimes us designers, we honestly say to the producers, can we find a family who have opened up their home to animals, who are saving dogs? Right. Because it's just nice to have a break because it really does, Affect you. it plays on you. Sure it if does. you don't get emotional from the show, at some point, there's something wrong with you. Right. So it does get tough. That's the, that's the hard side of the show. I'm sure it is.